Hello everyone, my name is Easton Harris. In this video today we're going to be covering the bullish and bearish Marabozu candlestick formation. Now in front of us is a bullish Marabozu and the key characteristics to these candlestick formations are that there are no wicks on either side of the candlestick. And you can see when price opened it went right to the upside, no struggles, very solid, very strong, very confident candle. Okay, there are no wicks on either side. Now let's flip over and look at the bearish Marbozu. Alright, you can see here that on this one as well, there are no wicks. Price is moving very strong and very forceful to the downside. It's not having to fight anything. There's no rejections anywhere. It's just one solid move to the downside. And this is our bearish Marbozu candlestick formation. All right, so let's dive into the charts real quick, show some examples and what these look like live market. All right, so I've got UJ pulled up on the five minute. And let's just take a look, see what's going on. So we start from the right, work our way left. Um, the first one I'm noticing right here, this bearish Marabozu candle right here. So price prints this, look how there's hardly any wick on the end. Now it's important to remember, there are some minor variations to this. Um, ideally, you wanna see as little wick as possible on both sides to where there's hardly any, okay? But if there is just a little bit of wick poking out, it's not a big deal. It still counts as the Marabozu formation. But here guys, you can see that price printed our Marabozu candle and has since been falling. Even printed our three black crows here as well. So price is continuing to fall. Over here, let's keep going left. We have an example here of a bullish Marabozu candlestick. And you can see that there's a bit of a wick on the bottom, not a big deal. Overall, this is a very strong, steady moving candlestick. Okay, and then price rose up until we printed our rejections and then price fell. All right, let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. A couple more examples here. We have a bearish Marabozu candlestick, a lot of force relative to the candlesticks around it. Okay, no wick on the top, very small wick on the bottom. This is your bearish Marabozu, and price continued to the downside. All right, right here, we have another one. Much larger one here. Okay, strong, steady candle, no wick on the top, moved straight down and then price fell following that. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Got three black crows here. Okay, here's a good one. Another very strong candlestick. Has hardly any wicks on it at all. You wanna be a little lenient with the wicks because oftentimes you will get a few little nubs. As long as you don't have wicks on it of like this size or even like this, you know, you don't want to have noticeable wicks on it. Okay, you might have these few little nubs on the edges. That's totally fine. And as soon as price printed that, price continued to fall. Let's keep going left, keep going left. We have another bearish Marabozu here and even one here. Okay, so both of these candles printed. This one printed and price continued to the downside where then printed this one, which is where price climbed back up. This is a failed Marabozu, all right? Now over here, we have a smaller one, but still a bearish Marabozu that prints right before this moved down, very solid. Let's keep going, let's keep going. All right here, a couple more examples. Right here we have a bullish Marabozu. This one has hardly any wicks on the bottom. Nice move up, price then in turn flow to the upside. Here, here's a, ve here's a very solid Marabozu candle, no wicks at all. Price printed this, but ultimately continued to the downside. Okay, that was a failed one. Here we have a bearish Marabozu candle, like so. Price opens, flows very smoothly down to the bottom and closes. Price then in turn flows to the downside. All right, here we go. Here's another one, perfect one, textbook. 
bullish Marabozu candle here. No wicks at all. Very strong, steady candlestick movement here. These candlestick formations can be compared to, if you guys watch basketball, LeBron driving into the lane. <laughs> okay, so they're very strong, very steady, very confident. There's no hesitation on this candlestick. And in turn, price rose to the upside. Okay, we have another one right here. This green one here. No wicks on this one. It was also accompanied with an exhaustion to the upside where then price ultimately rose to the top. All right, let's keep looking. Show you guys some more examples. We have another example here of a bearish Marabozu. Very, very little wick on the bottom, not a big deal. Okay, price then in turn falls to the downside. We have another textbook Marabozu candle here, this bullish one. No wick at all, very confident, strong. Price then flows to the upside before printing a rejection and then heading back down. You can see guys that these single candlestick formations are a lot easier to find. Here we have a failed bearish Marabozu candlestick. Price printed this and continued up. Happens sometimes, not a big deal. Here we have a bullish Marabozu candlestick here. Very little wick on top. We'll let that pass and then price flows to the upside. Here again, these candlesticks are everywhere, guys. Here again, we have a bearish Marabozu candle, in which then price does flow to the downside. And I mean they're just <laughs> they're just everywhere. Okay, look at this one. This one's textbook, no wick at all. Bearish Marabozu, price flows to the downside as expected. Now over here we have a bullish Marabozu candlestick formation right here. A little bit of wick on the top, not a big deal, not a big deal. It's not massive or anything, hardly noticeable. And price flows to the upside and also creates another one, no wick at all. Okay, now down here we have a bearish Marabozu candlestick here, no wicks at all, textbook, price then flows to the downside here. And we've got another one right here, right there, another bearish Marabozu, price flowing to the downside. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. We have a bullish Marabozu candle here, this one failed, price then printed a doji and ultimately headed to the downside, right here at this resistance. Okay, here we have another textbook, bullish Marabozu, Price continued up to the resistance. And another one, another one right here. Price goes back to the resistance. Here we have another bearish Marabozu candlestick. Little bit of wick on the edges, not nothing crazy. I mean, it's hardly noticeable. And price does then fall, but then prints this rejection to the upside, which signals for the move up. Okay, so price did fall after printing that. I mean, they're, they're just everywhere, guys. Everywhere. Look, you want to get into some really good ones? Look at this one. This strong, bearish Marabozu candlestick. No, this huge candlestick opened up and immediately fell all the way down to here, and nothing could stop it. It was a very smooth, gradual move down. There's no wicks here. This is a strong bearish Marabozu candlestick. And after printing this, price ended up printing another one here, where price continued to fall. Okay, very easy stuff, very easy stuff. You guys should start noticing a lot of these formations, even picking up on the ones that we've already talked about through here. You got three black crows, your rejections and exhaustions, all this stuff, three white soldiers, dojis everywhere through here. Let's see, let's see if we can get any solid Marabozu candlesticks through here. Here we go. Got another one right here. Bullish Marabozu candlestick. Price prints this, ultimately rises. It's a slow rise, but it does rise. Here we go, we have a bullish Marabozu here that failed. Moving on. Here we have a textbook bullish Marabozu again. Right there, price prints this, no wicks at all. Price then in turn flows to the upside. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Ah, here we go, another one, textbook. Bullish Marabozu, no wicks at all. Price then 
flows to the upside before finding resistance. All right, all right, let's see, let's see. Find any more examples, it's very easy guys. It's very easy. Here's a bearish Marabozo candlestick. Price falls a little bit, finds support, and then comes back. So let's see, let's see what else we got in here. Take a look. Here we have a bearish Marabozu. Again, textbook. Price just kind of goes sideways, prints a couple of rejections up here, and then ultimately falls down to the downside here. Let's keep looking, let's keep looking. Okay, here we have a bullish Marabozu candle right there. Price in turn continues to the upside. Let's show a few more examples here. We have another bullish Marabozu candlestick here. No wicks. Price then in turn flows to the upside before printing all these rejections and then shifting directions. Here's another bearish Marabozu candlestick. Okay, no wicks. Price then pulls back a bit before falling to the downside. Let's keep looking. Let's see. Here on the way up, if you're looking at this move all the way up here, we have one, two, three, four, and five bullish Marabozu candlesticks all the way through this move here. Now this one here, if you're looking at this one, you see this, this wick, that's too much wick. This is not a bullish Marabozu candlestick. Same as this one. And even this one's got too much wick on it here too much wick to be considered the Marabozu formation. Okay, if there's any wicks on them at all, you want them to be nubs, so small that you can hardly see them. All right, we've had a look at the Marabozu candlestick formations and that is going to conclude this video.